In this video we'll discuss the concept of panel overlay windows and contrast them with just uh, standard windows. So we have a simple UX component over here that has two panel cards inside a uh, panel navigator and then we also have a window over here. So let's first run the components and see uh, how the panel overlays work and how the window works. So here we go to the uh, first uh, uh, panel here. And we can see that we have a button over here that says show the window and the window opens up and you can see that the window is a uh, draggable uh, um, element that uh, is displayed on top of the screen and basically the window causes the screen to be locked which means that you can't click anywhere else uh, on on the uh, on the screen because the window here was defined as a modal window you can also define non-modal windows uh, but in this case we defined a modal window on the other hand when we go to panel number two we can see that we have some um, uh, text over here or some elements over here that are essentially floating on top of the this panel and the position where they float is defined by the panel overlay settings but the panel overlay is visible um, uh, all the time so uh, when panel 2 uh, gets focus you can see that uh, the uh, panel uh, is automatically shown so if we go back to design mode and look at this panel we can see that the panel uh, was defined to display 200 pixels from the top and then to be um, uh, bound 0 pixels from the left edge and 0 pixels from the right edge which means that this panel stretches the entire width uh, um, of the display. Um, but And we've also gone here and we've set the panel style to have a blue border and a radius of uh, 10 pixels but we've not checked the um, uh, panel overlay is windowed property which means that the panel overlay is visible when panel card number two gets uh, focus so by checking this property over here panel overlay is window then what happens is the panel overlay is hidden uh, initially so when we go to panel number two we don't see uh, the panel window and uh, just like the regular window which is displayed by using uh, an action in action JavaScript called show container window we have a similar action for panel overlay so if you go here to our panel uh, to our panel card that contains the overlay we can see we have a button here called show and this has a, an action called show panel overlay window and this action allows us to specify which panel overlay we want to show so obviously we want to show panel number one and we can choose animation so um, by uh, you can choose various animation styles including none and then once if you choose an, uh, a style other than none then you can also specify how rapidly the animation should should occur. So um, when you use um, animation uh, behind the scenes, the jQuery library is being used. So you you should enable jQuery um, for your application, and that's done on the project properties uh, dialog. So uh, this is our show, and then you can see here we also have uh, for the hide here basically we're also hiding the panel and again you can see that we're using animation to hide the panel overlay window so let's go back now and uh, run this so when we switch over to panel card number two we can show it and you can see there it shows with animation but unlike a modal window the screen is not locked so that means I can still go and press on the hide button there and hide the panel overlay. So panel overlays can be um, uh, displayed um, uh, on demand just like a window and this provides a, an alternative uh, method for showing content to a user in an application. Thank you very much.